Welcome back to UX Product Design Mastery. I'm Parm Sangha. And in today's video, we'll deep dive and demystify the crucial decision-making process when designing a product as a UX product designer. We'll give you the knowledge and tools you need to prioritize one design over another. We explore the importance of existing design systems, general design patterns like Apple Higgs and Google's material design, and the value of a robust market comparison. Discover how to work within technical constraints to find the most efficient solutions. Learn the power of A-B testing with users and how analytics can guide your design decisions. Don't miss our insights on user personas, scenarios, and heuristic evaluation as part of your design toolkit. Empower yourself to make confident and effective decisions in UX product design. All right, so let's get started. In the fast-paced world of digital product design, uncertainty often appears when deciding which design path to take. UX design, an integral part of product design, adds value to a product by focusing on its usability, accessibility, and interaction. Making informed decisions is crucial to optimize user satisfaction and engagement. In this video, we'll explore various methodologies to assist in making design decisions, prioritizing one design over another, and navigating the uncertainties of UX product design. Existing Design Systems and Patterns The first step in decision-making involves examining existing design systems and patterns. They often provide a useful starting point, offering a collection of standards, components, and principles to design coherently and consistently. Familiarize yourself with the design systems used in your existing application or experiences as they form a solid foundation for maintaining visual and functional continuity. One should also consider general design patterns, guidelines, and systems like the Apple Human Interface Guidelines, Google's Material Design, and Web Design Guidelines such as the W3C's Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. These standards help in crafting an efficient and consistent design in line with contemporary practices and user expectations, market comparison and competitor analysis. Exploring similar applications in the market allows you to gauge the competition, understand trends, and gain insights into user behavior and expectations. Look at applications that offer similar features or perform the same tasks as your product. Evaluate their design elements, usability, and user feedback to uncover successful design patterns and potential areas of improvement. Technical constraints. No design exists in a vacuum. It's important to balance your design decisions with technical feasibility and efficiency. Consult your development team to understand the technical constraints, complexities, and implications of your design choices. You should also keep in mind the cost and time associated with implementing complex design elements. Simplicity and effectiveness should be the key considerations when it comes to implementation. User testing. At the end of the day, UX is about the end users, thus involving users in your design process is a no-brainer. Implementing A, B testing where you present two or more variations of your design to different user groups is one effective approach. It helps in obtaining direct feedback and understanding which design options work best for your user base. Remember, data-driven decisions often reduce the risk of design failure. Analytics. The use of analytics can help to make informed design decisions. By analyzing user behavior, you can gain insights into how users interact with your application. Data such as user navigation patterns, time spent on each page, click rates, and bounce rates can influence the direction of your design. User personas and scenarios. Creating user personas, fictional representations of your potential users, and scenarios can also assist in decision making. These personas can help you understand your users' needs, experiences, behaviors, and goals, offering a user-centered perspective to your design process. Heuristic evaluation. Heuristic evaluation, a usability inspection method, can help to identify usability problems in a user interface design, thus guiding your design decisions. Nielsen's 10 usability heuristics are a widely used set of criteria that can help you evaluate the efficiency, effectiveness, and satisfaction of your UI design. Conclusion UX product design is a complex process requiring constant learning, adaptation, and decision making. Through a combination of understanding existing design patterns, conducting market comparisons, acknowledging technical constraints, performing user and A-B testing, 
employing analytics using personas and scenarios and heuristic evaluation, designers can make confident and effective decisions. This amalgamation of strategies ensures a comprehensive, user-centered design approach that enhances product usability and user satisfaction, leading to the success of your digital product in the competitive market. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Also, feel free to share your thoughts, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below. I'll be more than happy to engage with you and help you grow as a UX designer. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, take care and happy designing.